So we've got the white rice, Dr. Greg. I'm just I'm in the video here. Just what the fuck is Greg a thinking? Rice, rice. Let's get first things first. Like this whole reductionist bullshit that like you can't eat rice. I'll fucking kill the rice, man. Look at that. Organic don't panic, it's organic Thai rice. How much arsenic is in this rice? It could be a half a kilo of arsenic. It could be zero nanograms of it. If you want to become this hypochondriac that checks every morsel of food for any contaminants, then go ahead and do that. And that's what Greg is painting. He's creating this like hypochondriac 1980s fucking vegan brown cord pant wearing organic cotton hat chiming freaking hypochondria. Oh my god, I can't eat that. Is your rice? Where's your rice? Like, man, what's going on? Gregor, how many videos has Gregor done? Now this is not a hate video, just share my comments and criticisms, not hating, just saying, what the fuck is going down, man? How many videos has Gregor done this week on rice? They ain't rice. Rice is a staple. Rice is life. Rice is the number one calorie consumed on the planet. The China study. Anyone ever heard of the China study? Everyone have been to, hands up if you've been to China. Hands up if China eats rice as their staple. Hands up if China has the lowest cancer rates back in the day before we started, they started eating KSC, McDonald's, and lots of animal products. The, if you just want endorsement of rice, read the China study. Watch the documentary, What the Health. Gregor, the quack, I'm gonna call him a quack now because he's making people hot contracts. The quack Gregor says that the rice diet, Walter Kempner, now Walter Kempner is the grandfather, the big daddy of it all. McDougal stole off Kempner. Uh, but now everyone got their fucking ideas off Kempner. Kempner was the originator of this whole thing, all right? So Kempner put his patients on white rice, Sugar, which I have somewhere around so anyway. I've got sugar here, I've got fruit here. But I've got rice in my hand. White rice, sugar, fruit, fruit juice, all right? As much as you want, up to 500 grams of sugar a day for sedentary people laying in bed. I'll put some links down below if I remember, unless the arsenic's rotted my brain out. Google it up. Walter Kempner Rice Diet. Watch the documentary, What the Hell? Why the fuck did they have, even have Gregor in there? Gregor just confuses people. He's, he, in his book, How Not to Die, he's all over the, the, the rice diet. He's like, yeah, this is really good. I mean, we're just showing people we're reversing diabetes and diabetes blindness and obesity and hypertension, malignant hypertension. We're reversing it on rice, sugar, fruit, fruit juice. It's amazing. Plant-based diet, he says. And then uh, <laughs> he goes to make all these videos, don't eat rice. Rice will give you cancer, even though Walter Kempner was reversing cancer on his rice diet. Now, another big thing that Gregor the Quack forgets is that he's, he's, he pretends the whole world eats rice grown in Louisiana, Mississippi. Now, the reason why there's so much arsenic, inorganic arsenic in that soil is because they used to be cotton fields back in the day. Not all of them, not all of them, but a lot of the, a lot of the fields growing today, they switch from cotton to rice. Now there's arsenic in the soil, the rice absorbs it. Now here's the thing is that not everyone's eating that rice man. This rice here is grown locally here in Thailand. All right? It's organic so don't panic. And it wasn't grown on cotton because rice has been grown here in Thailand forever and ever. So how much arsenic's in this? Who even cares? So if you're going to give up your rice because of quack Gregor, the guy who walks on a treadmill on his desk, not because it's like exercise is good and makes you feel good, because it's healthy, it's a green light activity. I mean, boring, red light, green light, yellow light, boring. You know what I mean? This is what killed the raw food movement, the natural hygiene movement. You get into one of those talks, it's just like, hey guys, we're gonna read the studies. Oh, I've got two phones here. We're gonna um, what's today's agenda and the meeting, any notes in the meetings? It's just like, <sighs> so sitting in the living dead is boring as fuck, man. You know, and the cancer to the vegan community 
is people who do these sort of videos of like, don't eat too much fruit, fruit's got too much sugar, don't eat too much rice, don't watch your bike, don't do fucking anything, just sit at home, being a hypochondriac, scratching your skin off your face, going, oh my god, oh my god, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I mean, read the comments on Gregor's videos and other people, is, like, I mean, it's like, oh, 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 is there an arsenic detox yourself? I mean, look at this study, you know? Folic acid reduces arsenic level in the blood. How much folic acid do vegans get? I mean, I get a shit ton. Do I get too much folic acid? From all the fruit I eat, you know? Is that too much folic acid? Is that too much phytoestrogens, uh, phytonutrients rather? Is that too much? I mean, Greg is so myopic. It's just like, this study here says this one, what about that study? I don't know, but, you know, there's studies that fucking show everything. Arsenic? Is that really your biggest concern? Are you living so healthfully that your biggest concern ever in your life is how much arsenic you may get in organic rice? Come on, man. Mobile phones. All my phones are either turned off or they're on airplane mode. If you ask me what my phone numbers are, I honestly do not, I do not know to tell you. I don't know what my phone number is. It's if I have to get it for like an insurance or some legal matter or whatever, I have to like look up my contacts, what my phone number is, and then send that to them. If you ask me on the street, if you gave me 10,000 bucks right now, do not. What's your phone number? I wouldn't be able to tell you because I don't use a mobile phone next to my ear because it's just like, Radiation central, I'll get enough Wi Fi going all around. So that would be more of an issue than arsenic potentially in organic rice or whatever. Far out, man. And it's just, I mean, people are so dumb. People are so gullible today. And this, I really like, wow. This gives me like chest pains of how dumb people are in society and how gullible motherfuckers be. Man, you can be an e-beggar on, you can cry, I need some money, people give you money. I hate doing it, I'm put in prison. People give you money. Oh, there's organic, there's organic and rice, I'll never eat rice again. You know, I run a non-profit organisation, give me money. <laughs> what the Gregor even claims he donates all his money, where does he donate it to? Where does he donate it to? He's making millions of dollars off that How Not to Die book. He claims he gives it all away. Where's the receipts? Anyway, I'm digressing. Let's keep it on the rice. Let's keep it on the arsenic paranoia and the phobia. Oh, man. Are we trying to make vegan diets even harder to do? Like all these quacks, all these morons on the internet. I, I do know how to drink Sprite. Sprite's not healthy. And then you go and see them a, a few weeks later smashing down deep fried vegan donuts and shit or just eating Cadbury milk chocolate off their mum's counter. Do not as advice is wrong. I'm gonna live on potatoes and whole foods for two months and then binge out, be a binge strong. You know, why well, is a bit of spit on the camera there? Karma. You know? So, what are we doing, man? We're telling the people, walking up to people on the street, go vegan, go vegan, telling our mums and our fucking brothers and our dads and our sons and kids and everyone, our people who are fucking on Tinder, go vegan. And then they go, oh yeah, okay, vegan, what can I eat? Oh, well, don't eat rice, don't eat fruit, don't eat sugar, don't drink Sprite, um, stay home, just eat whole foods. Um, <laughs> what the, who's gonna fucking do that, man? Not even the biggest do not a whole food hashtag riding motherfucker who binges on cabbie milk chocolate and vegan donuts later is gonna do whole foods the rest of their life, 100% of the time, even for like a month or a couple of months, you know what I mean? So even if they're not gonna do it, why the fuck are any of us giving this bullshit advice like Greg has given? Don't eat rice because it's got arsenic in it. What the f- how? <laughs> I give the best information out there. Do you know why? Because any motherfucker can do it. If you're a 15 year old kid living in Wagga Wagga and you're like popping these big zits on your face and you're like, I want to go vegan, what do I do? He's doing right, he's doing right, he's a crazy motherfucking cunt, he swears a lot, I like that. What are we gonna eat? I can go to Domino's, get vegan pizzas and Wagga Wagga. This motherfucker can go down the shop, get cornflakes, soy milk and sugar, smash that down, carb the fuck up, go good in school, go good in sport, work hard on the fucking family farm, do whatever, man. He can carb the fuck up. You got an exec high flyer, New York City, private chef. What do we gonna make, private chef? Just fucking give me rice, give me fruit, give me fucking potatoes, give me corn. Boom, done. You know, money's no object for them. Boom, easy. You got somebody in Bangladesh, two bucks a day. They somehow find a mobile phone that's not locked. They come with a con, and it's like, oh shit, what's this doing right a guy? Because there's a video of me. The person who lost their phone was watching a video and they got kidnapped by aliens. And the phone's landed there. It's a hypothetical situation, relax. And they're watching the video and they're like, oh, well, this person understands English. 
You know, it's another hypothetical. And they're like, wow, I can do this vegan thing. And I can live on rice. And I can pick wild greens. And I can have a bit of soy sauce. And I can climb the fucking banana palm and steal some bananas now and then. Rice, bananas, wild greens. Soy sauce. Bangladeshi can do it. The Wagga Wagga 15 year old can do it. The exec spending 10,000 bucks a week on hookers and cocaine can do it. My advice fucking works. You don't feel guilty taking my advice. You eat till you're done. You eat till you're about to pop. It's sleep water sugar. Thanks for the reminder on Tumblr. These boring quacks. Is vegan. Is Gregor even a vegan? I know McDougal's not a vegan. I know Colin uh, Campbell's not a vegan. They're trying to study vegan. That's. I mean, it's not fine, but it's fine. But they I mean, they do. They still promote some great shit. But they're not real passionate people. It seems like the, the money they charge for their talks and shit, and it's like, are you really doing it for non-profit? How much can you charge so much for live talks, man? You know? And it almost seems like Gregor's got this big beef, pun intended, with McDougal right now. Because McDougal's the rice man, you know? And it's almost like Gregor's going, I want to stomp the starch solution into the ground. How can we demonize rice even more let's, let's do the arsenic fucking paranoia you know what i mean let's get all, all the mcdougalers just go to mcdougal for a man it's like the fucking sky is falling down <laughs> what the fuck are we doing man oh this world is crashing fucking hard you got vegans suing fucking fake vegans and fake vegans suing vegans and you got all sorts of shit. And I was just trolling the other day when I said I'm suing what the hell. I was just totally, for the people who didn't get the sarcasm, just trolling. But this is what, this is what we live in. It's like, what are we, we're had, what's the solution? What's the solution? And you got the whole, you, the vegan YouTube community has just become this big fucking cesspit of people just trying to get more views and slandering other people and all sorts of shit, man. You know? I mean, the amount of response videos I've had to make in Tumblr, but I don't like doing that. But it's like if I don't respond to the fucking trolls or the haters or the sledges, it makes me look guilty. But it's, that's what's become now. The vegan community has become... And I'll create this community. I'll create this community online. I've been the longest uploading vegan on YouTube ever. I'll create this. Look at the, look at the names people use. You know, the carbs, bananas, next to names, etc. You know? And that's fine. It's good. But it's like... So I'll create this community... And I've seen it rot massively. You know, I used to shout out Gregor before anyone knew who Gregor was. I was, I was a person who got McDougal going in you know, the Facebook and Instagram social media, getting all like Asino O'Neill and buying all those people to promote him and stuff like that, and freely and all that. No one knew who they were. They were just old, boring, 1980s has-been doctors who, who do, do some great work just sharing information. Fantastic resource, drmcdougal.com. But without the social media presence and the promotion, no one would have heard of them. It would have just been a bunch of 50, 60 year old people with obesity just trying to, you know, on their last legs trying to change their diet. Well, if I just eat potatoes for the next few weeks, will I be okay? You know, that's sort of boringness. There's no sex appeal there. I brought sex appeal to the vegan community. Good or bad, it fucking works. And so, what I've seen though is that we've lost that community vibe and it's gone into this like, orthorexia, anorexia, don't eat too much, you know, doing right is wrong, and, and most of these people are fat who are giving me crap. Doing right is advice is wrong, and it's like, well, you look like a potato, man. You look like a potato arm and legs. It doesn't make you a bad person. At least if you're going to critique my advice, be faster than me, be leaner than me, be have more lifestyle freedom and economic freedom than me. If you're going to critique someone's advice, you have to be doing better than them. Just saying. And it just makes me, like, disappointed because I feel that we're losing so much ground with all this infighting and bullshit and people just clamoring for the money, man. I mean, I fucked up by promoting a lot of, now I'm digressing from the arsenic topic, going on. We'll digress for a little bit, but, you know, I, 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 for, I'm gonna create an industry and I create the YouTube vegan online industry where people could saw me earning money and even Freely used to go, how much money are you making a month? What, 12,000 bucks a month? And then she's like, boom, 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 by banging on YouTube, you know? And then other people saw that. And then we, you know, I started like flashing the cash around. Look how much I'm making, you know, 20 grand a month, blah, 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 50 grand, all this sort of stuff. And be like, oh, no, no, no. And we cr created a lot of fucking channels, man. Helped them monetize their account. Every single channel now is doing well. 99% of them, I was always there. Helping them monetize their account or giving them shout outs or helping them with thumbnails or behind the scenes, giving them tip, answering their copyright claim issue to questions on emails and such. The emails from all these people. And it, but, but now I see it, these people were just doing it for fucking money. 
So what's McGregor doing? What service is he doing right now that's benefiting the vegan movement by creating this paranoia about arsenic in the rice? How does that benefit anyone? Have you ever met anyone who died from cancer that could directly be attributed to the rice they ate and their, the, the organic rice arsenic levels? I can't, man. And I've met fucking so many people. I've met people in person who reverse their cancer on a high carb, low fat vegan diet, rice diet, fruitarian diet, you know, stuff like that. I've met people in real life who've done that. Rice eaters, man. Go to China, go to Tamil Thailand, all this stuff. Walter Kempner, man. Walter Kempner, the rice diet. I digress. I just feel frustrated and I just want to have a little rant. And what, how do we do it? How do we get around it? I mean, it's just like, I don't know, man. Do, is, I, don't think, I don't see any hope for humanity. If, if, if there's not hope for the vegan community online, even on YouTube, if we can't get along and agree to carb the fuck up, sleep water sugar en mass, we got no hope, man. We got no hope. It's like, I mean, you, okay, what, let's, let's, let's do a hypothetical, right? You got someone on the street doing some, you know, mall activism. They walk up to someone on the street and like, hey, go vegan, blah, 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 blah. Watch this video, thousand eyes, whatever. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then they go home and they're going, like, I'm going to, maybe they struck a chord and they saw the animal cruelty. They're like, fuck yeah, this is wrong. I want to go vegan. They see it. So they get online, they have a look around and they go to such and such a channel or such and such a channel and then they see a video, a doing right is this, doing right is that. And they're like, wow, this guy's high profile vegan. He's got over 100, he's got over 220 million views across his channels. Hmm, wow, this dude's a fucking crackpot. Oh, fuck that then. And then, boom, you lost him. Or, they go, yeah, doing right is crackpot, yeah, he looks, yeah, whatever, I don't care. But then they go to Gregor's channel and they're like, oh, rice, oh, rice got arsenic in it. Well, fruit's too much sugar. Fructose is bad. What the fuck do I eat then? You know what I mean? You're losing people. You're bringing people in, all these spruikers and stuff, and it's all good. But we're bringing people in and they sit down and then they do a bit of homework. Everyone's on the internet these days, homework. I, don't, I did an Airbnb one time. All right, I got there and the guy, the guy looks at me and I said, I, I knew straight away this dude had read some shit from the trolls about me on the line. And I said to him, don't believe everything you read on the internet about me. And he's like, how did you know, mate? And I'm like, dude, I can read someone's face if they've read something about me on the internet. You, just, you can't hide that. It telegraphs really well. And we had this fantastic chat for three or four hours or whatever. And this dude was just like, wow, he's like, you've got some crazy fucking haters and I've never met anything like this. And he was a public speaker, a cool guy. And I've had other people like that as well. You can tell, you know, when someone's... And we're gonna, now we're going to have this whole rice, the paleo people and the fucking media and the Daily Mail, they're all going to ride on this thing. Vegan diet's healthy, but vegans eat a lot of rice and they may get arsenic poisoning. And now all your meat eater cousins and your fucking 400 pound neighbours are going to be putting envelopes in your letterbox saying, hey man, Jackie, Johnny, you're eating rice, it's got arsenic in it. <laughs> Maybe we'll smoke my cigarettes then. You know what I mean? My Big Mac's got less arsenic than your organic rice in Mississippi. And it's just like, where? Well, you're just two, for two steps forward, hundred steps back. Hundred steps back. And it's, that's why we just have no hope. And I love to be an optimistic man, you know? But I just, I can't see any hope for the future at this rate. Can you? Can you honestly see it? I can't, man. And, and I, I live in a world where I don't have rose-colored glasses, man. I live in the real fucking world. I don't live a job where I have to be there every day and talk shit and suck up someone's ass to make money at the end of the day. I can be myself real. I don't have to do this YouTube gig. I've made enough money. I'm financially free. I could shut this down, be shut down, be banned from the internet forever if that was ever possible. It's not. But hypothetically, let's say I was just... Let's say if I pick up a mobile phone or a laptop, I get electrocuted and die on the spot, all right? I just get someone else to fucking upload it for me. But let's say I couldn't. No way in the world I could do stuff like that. I could still walk away, be a normal person, and just be living here in Thailand or Australia, riding my bike every day, kicking back, looking at spiders, beetles, snakes, and slugs. I wouldn't do that because I just feel I was contributing to the fucking insanity. But... So I don't have to, I, I have this freedom and this insight every fucking day where I see what's going on in the world. I travel a lot, man. And Thailand is a beautiful place, but the pollution and the insanity and the consumerism just going up and up and up and up and up. It's crazy. In Australia, we increase our waste percent by 8% every year. Our waste total is increased 8% you know, every year. So in nine years, we're almost like 100% doubled our waste. 
Sydney, East Suburb Sydney, Australia, is the most wasteful place in the planet, in the world. East Suburb Sydney, I lived there for a bit. You know, we've got some crazy, it's just going nuts, and no one can really see it. Because no one travels like I do, with the eyes and the carved up and the freedom. I've got the financial freedom, I've got no kids nagging me or whatever, you know? I've got that total freedom, even Tori, my partner, she's just like so easy to be around. So easy to be around. So I've got so much time and focus and experience to look around and just really analyze shit. And I'm a fucking insect arachnid fucking lover. So I'm all about the details and I see the details in society. And I see it just crashing, boom, boom, like air buses just hitting the ground every day. Like in that documentary, What the Health. Go check it out. But it's, you know, and, and even a great documentary like What the Health, which is really fucking good doco. I mean, you read the, the bullshit online about it, and now, now it's got me the rice thing. Oh, you watch, watch, watch the health? Yeah, but, yeah but, but vegans eat rice, man. And, and how can you tell me to not eat Big Macs if you're eating rice? Well, if you quit your rice, I might quit my Big Macs, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> if you quit your fruit, because you've got fructose, maybe I'll quit my steak. Maybe, maybe. And we just, you know, but we lose those battles. It's all fun and games when you put those troll faces on, but fuck, man. What's it going to be like in 20 years? This is a pressing, this is a downer video, isn't it? This is a fucking downer video. But I, I, I just, these, these are the videos that I just have to make, man. Because I'm not here to make money. I'm not here to be popular. I make money. I am popular. People talk about me, love me, or hate me. That's not a choice that I do. That's just how it is. But again, I could walk away from it all. And I just see this fucking insanity going on. And this is why I keep making videos, because I do have this grandiose, schizophrenic, bipolar belief that maybe one day we can turn it around. In my heart, I, in my heart, I have this big conflict in my brain. My brain's going, dude, give the fuck up. Nothing's fucking changed. My heart's like, man, just keep trying, just keep pushing. Come on, keep going, keep going until you're dead. Don't die the music in you. My brain's like, dude, just fuck it all off. Just fucking go ride your bike and fucking look at snakes and shit and just have the best day ever every day. Fuck all, just give up. Fuck all these fucking idiots on the internet. You know? Mars, like, no, man, keep going, keep pushing. So I got this big conflict with the brain and the heart. And my heart always wins. That's just how it is. But, and I think that's the secret for life. Let your heart win all the time. Don't follow the brain. Follow your heart. And it, it, it's just crazy, man. Anyway. Let's wrap it up there. Arsenic and rice, fucking non-issue. Non-issue. Telling people to eat less fruit. Fruit makes you fat. <laughs> rice makes you fat. Sugar makes you fat. <laughs> fucking hell, man. Vegan Gaines was gonna do a live debate with me and he backed out. And I'm thinking, is that me having a debate with him going to be good for the vegan movement even, you know? Joe Rogan would never have me on his live stream. That would be good if I got on there. Would I debate vegan gains? Would it be, I don't know, you know? I mean, in private I would, but would it be good for the vegan movement if I did debate vegan gains and totally smoked him and I would have every debate? I mean, my first debate would be why, why would, you have, why would your girlfriend be, still be on the contraceptive pill you know, and you're, how can you be serious about health and let someone be on the contraceptive pill? That's, that would be one of my first questions to anybody. And that was a question I had to myself. I had a girlfriend where she was on the pill and I'm like, I'm serious about health. This is when I was vegan. How can I let my girlfriend be on the pill just so I can bang her? And I'm like, I should be getting a vasectomy. And they're like, oh, vasectomy, oh, you know, it might be painful. And that's just a big pussy. You know, and then the one day I was like, fuck, I'm going to get a vasectomy because I give a fuck about health. Why doesn't Gregor talk about the contraceptive pill? That would be a bit more of a real world fucking video. Arsenic and rice, do 20 videos about it. Where's the videos about the contraceptive pill? Which is a real issue. It's in the drinking water now. You know, estrogens and stuff. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? Be the change you want to see. Carb the fuck up, sleep water sugar, make vegan life easy for those people around you. Make it easy for the noobs. Don't get them paranoid, don't get them undercarbed. Make it fun, because when you make something fun, you take care of motivation.
See you soon.